que o Canadá quer jogo, vem o Canadá, Vrablic, bate, saiu em cima dele, sem goleiro, tocou pro gol, Batistão mete a cabeça, insiste Valentine, olha o cruzamento, outro toque, subiu o bate para fazer a defesa definitiva, aí vem o cruzamento lá da esquerda, Bocim, Papan tem a chance, girou pro gol, mas jogou fora, Giresse, não domina Platini, chegou a Papan, de novo Platini. Ótima abertura, Morro. Pintou o um gol, Papan tocou para fora. Teve tudo, tudo, tudo a França para fazer o primeiro gol. Gira de um lado para o outro, a Morro. Fernandes abre bem o espaço, arriscou na perna esquerda, balão soltando, fechou Papan. Insiste, Roscou. Diga lá encosta. Ele prefere no meio a Platini. Tá devendo um pouco, né? Mas tocou esperto na bola. Roscou. A Papan. A chance. Puxou. Olha o gol francês. Bateu para fora. É a terceira oportunidade desperdiçada por Jean-Pierre Papin. Na boa, Batistão. Platini, Papin na área. Chegou Papin. Bateu na trave. Fernandes bateu, a bola passou na trave. Falhou o goleiro e deu sorte, ela bateu na trave. Insiste a França, por lá ninguém. Tirou o Wilson. Fernandes arriscou de longe, o goleiro não achou nada, ela beliscou a trave. Fernandes de novo. Tome cruzamento, Dolan ficou no meio do caminho, toque. Estopirou, vai escorar, você vai ver, o goleiro saiu em branco. Estopirou, escora, Papã mete a cabeça, confere, quase lá dentro, por outro ângulo. Estopirou e Papã, fechou junto com o Bridge, do outro lado. Guerins, look as though they may just overreact a little. And they bomb for a couple of defensive midfield players who seem at the moment to be lying pretty deep. They're on the attack here through Kiprick. Esterhazy is in the middle with a chance to shoot and take it from them. The cherry beaten at the near post and there wasn't a very big gap. Well, Hungary really only played with the two strikers, Kiprick and Esterhazy. And all the while Esterhazy can strike like that, That'll be enough. This is 11th goal in 23 internationals. So we've had, uh, had another reorganization in the Hungarian defense, but for the moment, let's look at this attack, which is wasted. 
with a shot well wide by Bugna. Rutlich. Sagota. Oh, nice little burst of acceleration there. Bowled over, but the referee decided the ball was played cleanly. And the rebound there that could help Canada. Sweeney with the ball. Can he now cross? Still got a chance. No, he wanted to take too long with it. By the time he delivered it, Senderai was covering the near post. Offside flag against Kipri. Eight minutes to go, and they trail by a goal from Estahazi, and could be two down to Kiprish. They're two down to Tetteri. Kiprish is shot, blocked by Lettieri, and Tetteri, following up, gets his sixth goal for his country. Kiprish did all the work, Tetteri knocked in the rebound. He has opened up play with a magnificent crossfield ball. Bogna now put in by Chipwick and chips the goalkeeper. And Lettieri picks it up as though he knew that was what was going to happen. Well, that would have been a goal to make one think that all the old mystical skills of Hungary have not. Thirteen is Litovchenko. He's waiting for the players to get back and start their runs again. A clear header. An important stop by Letieri from Protasov. Oleg Protasov, the scoring sensation of Soviet football last season. When he blocking and the man who came on as a substitute, there he is, Belanov has made an impact right at the start. He was found by Alenikov as he cut inside uh, Bruce Wilson and his ball inside Bridge met by blocking and Canada a goal down. Well, he picked him out perfectly did there, did Belanov. Cut inside Wilson. And blocking's first goal of this 1986 World Cup. Blocking, oh! Well, the man who's just come on the field and who's taken the captain's armband in replacement for blocking with a clear run at goal and a run at Lettieri. And that so close to the Soviets' second goal in the matter of a couple of minutes. And off. Oh, a good tackle by Ian Bridge. But it's fallen to Rodion off and still play allowed to go on. Who chips it up for Elenikov. A great strike by Alenikov and an equally great save by Tino Lettieri. He allowed play to continue. Alenikov just outside the area. A tremendous shot punched over by Lettieri. Kuznetsov for the Soviet Union. Forward by Zavarov to Belenov who gives it back. A splendid goal for the Soviet Union by Alexander Zavarov. And that came right from their own back. Kuznetsov, who'd carried it forward, chipped it up, knocked on by Belenov. Maybe a faint suspicion there that Zavarov controlled the ball with his shoulder or his arm. Certainly... Rodionov. Belenov flicks it on for Olenikov. Gives it him back. Belenov! And it's gone behind. Did up the Soviets and French both definite qualify.